Alrighty y'all, uh, thanks for checking out this video. Uh, about two weeks ago I got uh, the honor really of playing with uh, Red Volkart and it was awesome to get my, my butt handed to me by one of my idols. And uh, this video is just about some of the ideas I heard him play over that standard My Window Faces the South. Now go ahead and head on over to patreon.com slash Tuck to get the tabs and the backing track for this one and kind of the full length lesson for it. Um, yeah, I'm a full-time musician, this is what I do for a living, so I appreciate any support y'all can, uh, can offer. But uh, anyways, yeah, let's go on and talk about some of the stuff that Red did. I'm going to throw in a few things that I did as well that I think kind of work over this uh, standard, and you can put it into your playing very quickly. Awesome, let's get started. Alright, so first, um, it's over the A, kind of an A6, which is just like... Uh, bar chord except we're not playing anything on the fifth string. The notes on the fourth string go down from the seventh fret to the fourth fret. And then the second string and third string still have the same chord on there. Anyways, we're starting out. That's five, six, five. 2nd string, 6, 7, and then, right off the bat, we're going to be playing an A diminished scale. But we're going to be kind of uh, doing a sequence of it, so... Go up 3, down 4, up 3, down 4, up 3. Pluck in, pull off, pick, pick, pluck, pick, pull off, pick, pick, pull off, pick. That's a flat three of the A6. And then you're gonna slide into the major three of the A6. And then kind of go up the uh, A major pentatonic right here. Slide in the third. There, that's that phrase. And then next, so that was the, uh, the diminished line we go over. And that's all over the A6. We're just kind of throwing it out for a second. Then bring it right back to just standard A pentatonic, A major pentatonic. And then next we're doing a whole tone thing where we're playing a root, a major third, and a fifth. Just that's the root 3, 5 of A, right? So now, we'll take that same concept and move it up, the root 3, 5, up to a flat fifth interval above the A root. So that would be from A to, that's the fifth fret, to the fourth, uh, fifth string, sixth fret. Same thing, root 3, 5 right there. Then go up another uh, flat 5, then root 3, 5 there. Another flat 5, and root 3, 5 there too. And then you, that's A, and then we're doing a little dyad. Cool, and the next we're just going to outline uh, how the chords change for the D to the D sharp diminished. So we have a D triad. That's 12, 11, 10. So fourth string, second, third, fourth string. Then all you do is, on the 4th string, move your 12th fret to your four, uh, 13th fret. There you go, that's your diminished outline right there. And then now we're going to outline just an A major triad. And then now we're over an F sharp 7 major chord. So that's right there. Just outline of that. Cool. And next we're over this B major 7. Sorry, B, B dominant 7. And we're going to do another augmented, or whole tone, sorry, whole tone uh, scale. Whole tone is just whole tones going up. Whole tone is a scale, you know, when you see Tweety Bird get hit in the head and it's got the other little birds flying around him. That's what... I lost it there a little bit. <laughs> yeah, so the sequence is 
And here's kind of a lick over the E7. And it's not so there. So we're kind of outlining, uh, instead of just a standard E7 or E9, we're taking that 9 and flatten it. So it's kind of where. And it, and it works nicely because that note right there is only a half step above the chord tone for the A6. Cool, and then after that, we do kind of another uh, augmented or kind of sharp fine thing, a sharp five thing that Red does a lot. So we start with our normal A major triad, second, third, and fourth string stay the same. So you go off the second, third, and fourth fret, and then you just move uh, your second string note up a half step each time. And everything kind of stays the same. Oh, wait. I forgot this part, so it goes major third, sharp seven, two, one. Yeah, so after you do the now we're over the D, going to D sharp in a minute. So I'm taking this D triad. See your normal major third there. I'm just sliding in a half step below it. So it's slide in, third string, uh, third fret, second string, fourth fret, third string. Four, three, two, and then go four, three, two, one. That note right there is the beginning of the change of the diminished chord. So, boom. That's where we are. Outlining. A diminished uh, chord is just made up of minor thirds, so minor third is, you know. <laughs> it's been a while since I thought of minor rules like that. But yeah, the first, that's minor third. That's just one, kind of three frets up. So just minor thirds just stacked over and over again. Cool, and now we're over the A. And that's out of this position. Cool. And then the next chord we go to is the F sharp seven. And we're just outlining that with the major third of the F sharp seven, the flat seven of the F sharp seven, and the fifth. Now we're just over a quick major 2 5. B7, E7, A. Flat 9, we're kind of thinking. Again, flat 9 sound. So the whole thing, uh, let's see if I can even remember exactly what I played. Uh, one, two, Thanks for hanging out. Go get the tabs again on patreon.com slash Tuck. That's where all my stuff will be until my website is done. When am I going to finish it? I don't know. I'm going to have some time. Uh, but I appreciate any support. And uh, long live the telly, folks.